And hey guys, welcome back. It's me and Morgan, and let's see if we can get behind us. We got Mama and Marley back there. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we're over here at the Art of Animation one more time. And over on the right side, we do have the Pop Century Resort. At Disney's Pop Century Resort. So on the Skyliner ride, guys, all these Skyliners do have different stickers on the outside. Some of them, like this one, are clear that's coming up. So if you guys are willing to wait around when it's slow and there's nobody in line, you can kind of pick and choose which one you're going to get on. If it's busy, you're going to be lucky to get on one. We went on some last night, and we just had a real hard time even getting on a Skyliner. But it's a nice day out over here in Walt Disney World. And you guys can see the parking lots. These are usually a little bit more packed than they are. They're not as packed right now. We did see a lot of people last night on the actual Skyliners, on the buses, in the resorts. Today, the bus stop going over did have a little bit of people in line. Not too, too many manageable. So the bus wasn't full. So. It's nice to see you can get out there and still get on some of the stuff. It might not be a bad holiday to get on some of the rides. And let's take a look back. You got Ariel right there. And I'm trying to get a job in the next movie. I want to be the guy that sings that. All right, over on the right here, after my bad jokes, would be the Caribbean Beach one more time, as always. Now, you guys notice the roofs on top. They're like a red roof. Well, these, these beach clubs, they actually change colors. So you'll see the red over here. Down on the other side, you're going to see some light yellow buildings. So it does change as you're going through. And thank you for flying the Disney And sometimes you get lucky when you're going over and you'll see some alligators down in there, guys. I don't know if you guys like seeing them and stuff, but sometimes it's fun seeing and also we've had the opportunity a few times to see some snakes down below so nothing down there today but as you can see in the distance there they kind of got a little bit different color buildings than these up front there and that's going to be the main section of the Caribbean Beach off to the right so we're going to get off right up here this is our junction point so at any time you guys want to get off you just get off here and you're going to go right on over here but after you get out off on this one, you got to make a decision. You can either head over that way, get on another one to Hollywood Studios, or continue right on through to Epcot and the Boardwalk. But we're going to get out here, and we're probably going to head on over in the Hollywood Studios direction. And that was a nice Coco car that just went by. Until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please Little Peter Pan. Collect your belongings. And I don't know if you guys saw the headlines, but they had Phil Collins posted, and he's uh, not doing too good. But uh, it's sad because he did a lot of the songs for Walt Disney World. Oh, we're getting ready to get out right here. So where you guys are going to hook up with us in a couple of minutes. We're going to get back on. But for now, that's all. We'll see you guys in a few. And Morton's, Morgan Spartan is new glasses today. But here we go, guys. And we're walking along right now, and you guys can see this is where we're getting out. This is our junction point. You got the Caribbean Beach over here. You got the Caribbean over here. You got the other set of the Skyliners that are going to take you to Epcot, but we're going to head right on over here to the Hollywood Studios section. We should have Mama and Marley. There they are. They're coming up. So we got the whole family up here for the weekend. And we've been in and out of Disney. We stayed in here, and we also stayed off property. So these always have my heart. Disney's always got the organization, the neatness, everything always looks so shiny and new. And it looks like we're getting lucky and we're gonna get another cart that's all nice and shiny. Two! Well, thanks! And we're loaded back in. If you guys haven't seen these things, these are the Skyliners. Let me get an image of this thing right here. So these are the, the benches you're gonna sit on. Up on top, you've got some little windows now them windows that you can tell there's no air conditioning in here but these windows actually let in a lot of cool air so when you guys are driving along and stuff it gets pretty cool in here you'd think that it would get real hot but it does not they actually stay cool they are all tinted and some of them like this one coming in is clear and some of them have the films so like uh the one right in front of us there with the uh it looks like scrooge mcduck in there
And then you've got the Moana one coming in that's got another film on there, and behind it's the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So some of these are tinted, some of them are not. We're going to look around and see what we got. Over in the distance, you're just going to catch a tiny peek as it disappeared into the trees of Epcot. We're looking behind. We've got the Riviera. We will see that as we go along on our journey. So we're going to come back and we'll go right where all them cars are there. And here's a look back at the Caribbean Beach drop-off point. So this is where you guys are going to get out, reload in, and you're going to make all the choices from this one little hub on which direction you're going to go. We are traveling through one of the many protected... And it's nice and cool here. out when you're on these uh, Skyliners. When you're outside, you do feel the heat coming up off the ground today. Now this is probably one of the nicest uh, Skylines to get on because you've got the Swan, the Dolphin Swan Reserve over there. You've got the Epcot ball in the trees right now, but you'll see the Epcot ball, which we're going to. You see the uh, uh, Swan Reserve right there. You do have the Hollywood Tower Hotel. In the distance, it looks like you've got the, uh, I wanna say that's the Coronado and Grand Destino Tower right there. We're gonna try to get out on that balcony real soon. We got up on top of the Riviera one. We're gonna get out over there when we get an opportunity. And over here, you're gonna see over to the left is the Star, Wa uh, Star Wars section there, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and I see all the stuff coming at me, so you gotta make a decision what you're gonna talk about. But there's so much to see as you guys are coming in. Now, notice the parking lots. This one over here, totally empty. This one here is about half full or half empty. So today, if I had to give some advice, it wouldn't be a bad day to go into the Hollywood Studios Resort here, or theme park, I should say. I always call them resorts. The Hollywood Tower Hotel, and that's got a ride that's got multiple endings, so it's always different. You're never going to go on the same one twice, or they say. They had, we were looking into the uh, the annuals on the water parks and uh, they actually did away with them again. So they come with them, they get rid of them, they get, bring them back, they get rid of them, then they got specials for a few days and they get rid of them. They're kind of up and down on the pricing, what they want to do, but I think they just need to lower the pricing down a little bit. Get, get everybody in and everybody will spend money. If you're not getting the individuals into the park, we all want to spend money. Even if we don't want to spend money, we want that item that really stands out. You're going to spend the money if it's priced right. If not, you're just going to walk right on by and just be aggravated. So drop that pricing down. I want to see a lot of bags going out of the uh, parks, even though bags are bad for the economy and or bad for the uh, the ecosystem. It's, it's better to see the bags going because people are Gentlemen, spending money in the parks, guys. If you're spending money, you're having a good time. Disney's Hollywood or I guess some people, if you're not spending money, you're having a good time. Now, down in the water there, that's where one of the uh, boating uh, little docks are. You're going to get on that boat, and it's going to take you over to the this direction here, over towards Epcot, all them resorts over there. It'll dump you out over there, and there's a little walkway that goes along, a little trail, and that takes you right over to the boardwalk. But right now, we're getting ready to get out one more time, so we do have to get out here. And if we want to get back on, we're going to walk right around the circle and jump back on. So bear with us. We're going to try it again. I'm going to try to hold the phone this time and keep it running. And that's the magic of filming, guys. If it doesn't look good, you just cut that slice out and you just put a new one in. And if you guys are looking to film the individual cars, this is one of the places I recommend coming. Because you can just stand here and watch all the cars come in. I sat here one day and I think I filmed like 450 cars. So I got a lot of JPEGs. We we're setting it up for our website and we ended up uh, not putting them out there just because of the uh, demand in the website. So we're actually getting ready to pull that down for a little while. If we notice demand going back up and people going in there and we notice that the tracker from what it is is going up in uh, crazy numbers, we'll, we'll put it back out again. You notice the entranceway, not a lot of people over there. And we're out and we're gonna make a Yui and go right back in. What's mama asking for, Morgan? See what mama's calling for, she's right behind you. Thank you. 
I had to stop and see what they're up to. I didn't know if we were going to go into the park or not. Nope, we're all coming up to things, so I guess uh, the ramp here, so I guess we're all going back on the Skyliner. And that's another look at the Hollywood Studios. You got the Indiana Jones stunt show over to the left. The Hollywood Studios logo. Haunted Mansion over there next to Finding Nemo. Seven Dwarfs. Monsters, Inc. Now we're going to try to get a clear one because I do want to shoot in the clear today. Shoot here, gentlemen. Two. Can we get a clear one, sir? Sure, wait right there. All right. Here, folks? Two. How many here, folks? Two. Two. Just come on in. 276. Watch your step, please. Join him in 276. Watch your step. Here's your clear one, sir. 317. Thanks, please man. Watch your step. You got it. Like this, too. One moment. So here we go. We're back in our clear. Make sure it our always, in. It always pays to ask about the clear if you're looking to film. We did shoot one just to show you guys what it looks like. I think we shot it last night. So you guys are gonna see the difference between looking out the windows and looking out the decal. So anytime you guys get that opportunity to get the clear, take advantage of it. It is nice to be in the ones with the, uh, you know, you wanna be in like right there at Randall with Monster Zinc, it's cool. But to be honest with you, you don't see it on the inside. It's like a clear decal on the inside. It just makes it hard to film out of. But you're going to see him anyway on the outside, so it really doesn't matter to me unless you're just set on getting that, you know, themed out uh, car to be in it, but I don't think you really need it. You got Coco going by. You've got Stitch coming up right here. Ladies and gentlemen. You got Morgan over here. And over on this side, guys, look at the distance. You're seeing a little bit of the Epcot area. In the distance, far straight ahead, you've got the uh, Spaceship Earth. Now, last night, if you guys aren't familiar with what's going on in the parks, they had a pipe rupture in that thing. So they had to do an emergency evacuation of that. It was getting a lot of water in all the little cars. So we hooked up with a fan last night that happened to be out on there. And uh, he said there was a lot of water coming down in the cars. So kudos for the information. Thanks for watching the video. And thanks for being in our car with us when we were traveling with you. Yeah, so every now and then we'll hook up with some people that are just big time Disney fans. And it's real cool to hear some of the history, hear what they see, what they like, what they don't like. And it always helps us determine what we want to put in our videos and stuff. So we're trying to evolve a little bit more. We need to grow this channel. We always look for help from you guys. Help us grow this channel, guys. It only takes a couple of seconds. Like right now would be a great opportunity to like this video, subscribe, and get the word out. The more we grow, the more we're going to be able to do for you guys. We've got a lot of items we want to give away this year. Help us get them items out to you guys. The more we give out, the more we're going to be able to buy and the more we're going to get it out to you. We're a little bit different type of channel. We want to do a lot more than most channels and we want to give back. And that's the goal. We like coming over here. I like spending my time here. And my goal is to be here, if possible, five days a week from my job. And that'll be it. And then I go home, do my editing and stuff, have my life, come back in every day, shoot the videos, and give away lots of merchandise, guys. Everyone loves free stuff. Help us get there. And all it takes is to subscribe, guys. Subscribe and like these videos. Get them watched. If you guys see stuff or content you're not too sure of or you're not too happy with, always leave it in the comments. Try to keep them comments clean. We don't like the negative comments. Nobody really wants to see that stuff, guys. We'll take the real comments and we will look at them and we'll try to make some changes if it helps you out. But just remember that, you know, we'll post a video sometimes of just the ambient sound of like the Skyliner and you can post it out there and somebody else doesn't want that ambient they want you talking in it so there's several different types of videos that everybody wants and we'll try getting them out there if you if you want a video let us know we had somebody just wants the ambient sound of the bus ride from uh, hollywood or the downtown disney area the disney springs over to the uh, contemporary and we shot the video and they're like do another one this time I don't want to talk in it. Caribbean it's like, well, we'll Caribbean get it out there for you. But just remember, there are a lot of people that like other ways too. So everyone's got a different way of seeing things. So we'll be more than happy in our next time over there. Post that video out for you. Just leave it in the comments down below.
And if you guys see anything that could help us grow this channel, by all means, put it down below and we're looking to change to get this thing to grow. The more people we get to watch, the more it helps us and helps you guys. Over in the distance, once again, let's go back to the video. You got the Riviera. Up on top, you got Topolinos, guys. Now that is a place you can go after five, buy some drinks. They'll let you walk out on the balcony there and it overlooks all this area, all from all the way over to the Art of Animation, Pop Century, over here to Caribbean Beach. You even get back there on the old uh, boardwalk area, Epcot area and Hollywood Studios. The night sky is always lit back there. It's really cool. So don't lose that opportunity, guys. Get out there. Try to get up on top of Lino's. At least get some nice pictures for yourself. It's really cool. And you don't need to stay there. Take the uh, Skyliner over, guys. All right, we're going to reload. We're getting out of here. We're going to jump on another one. I'm going to try to hold my camera without shaking all over the place because i got to load up my backpack here. And we're getting out right now. We're going to go jump on the final leg. Once again, this is one of the center points here. Hey, how'd they get in front of us? Oh, that's right, we gave the uh, clear, we wanted to clear. So there's Marley up there. Hey, Marley! Marley's sporting her new skirt that she just got with the pockets in the back or the front, depending on which way you want to put the skirt on. And now we're gonna hit the last section. You see Marley there walking, she's leading the way, and then you got Mama over there. Hey, Mama! And then you got Morgan over here sporting them new glasses. Hello. All right, you too. So right now we're gonna get on the last leg. This leg is gonna take us all the way over to Boardwalk. Keep going by right on over to the Epcot section, and then we're gonna call it quits with this one. We're trying to have a little bit of a day here today, so I'm not gonna be filming all day. Can we get that clear one? They're with us. Can we get the clear one? All right, I got it. Thanks. Woo! Money! All right, so we got the last clear. It kind of cut the wife and Marley off. But they'll be behind us this time, so it's kind of cool. And here's these guys coming in. So notice the video, guys. I'm shooting at a 24 4K right now. And I'm shooting on the iPhone. So we've got the iPhone 13 we're shooting on. And there's several different iPhones to shoot on, guys. Now, during the day, believe it or not, my favorite one to shoot on, the iPhone XR. Talk about an oldie, but a goodie. Some phones just have a better way of filming, guys. Another phone Morgan loves to shoot on, his uh, iPhone 12 mini, loves that phone. I just can't stand it, guys. My eyes don't work that good anymore. I can't even see the phone, let alone the keys on it. There's the Haunted Mansion. Love the car. Welcome aboard, Islanders. And I just had my Starbucks. Believe it or not, we're not getting paid to mention the Starbucks, but I did have my Starbucks coffee, so I'm all hyped to go right now. That's a look back of every place we just came from. This Skyliner ride, guys, is where you want to be. Over here, look at this here, Caribbean Beach. Look at all the colorful umbrellas now. And that last night, we just went through there. And what a beautiful pool. You think it's nice looking now? I think it's one of the nicest on properties. But this right now at nighttime, get over there and take a look. That water glows in a light blue, light green, beautiful pool. That right there is an awesome, awesome pool. It'll remind you as soon as you get there of the Pirates of the Caribbean. And as I said earlier, you notice the different color rooms here. So you've got the reddish over here, or it could be like a magenta. Over here, you got like a the bluish background on them with the red roofs. Over here, look what you got. You got the pink, and if you look back here, you've got the yellow. Now, all the way around here, I believe this property has five pools on it. So this section, that section, this section, that section, and the middle one. And I hope I didn't get anybody to toss their cookies spinning my camera around too much. And I'm freehanding this one today, so bear with me. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort. Riviera Resort now. You want to get off? Get off. You want to stay on? Stay on. It's going to do a loop over that way. We're going to keep going right on over to that big old golf ball over there. Some people call that Spaceship Earth. Some people call it the Epcot Ball. I call it where we're going. Ciao, bonjour, and bienvenue. Hello, and welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. If you are traveling to Epcot, 
please remain on now board. Now this is a one of the up and down hotels, so you're gonna go in, it covers that footprint and that's it. Like the Caribbean is through that entire area back there. They're the kind of resorts that I like. But hey, some people like these guys here. Please remain seated. Now, I will say, I'm not a fan of this resort by any means. I think it's very pretty. I love going up on top, looking at what it has to offer. But I would definitely stay on the higher rooms up on top. They had a great view up there. So whether I'm looking at like the boardwalk area, Epcot area, or even back at the Caribbean beach, I would stay up there up in the top floors because it is beautiful, guys. Once again, these are some of the guys. Hello, these are some of the guys who are going to help you out here getting on, getting off. But we're going to stay on. We're going to continue right on over to the boardwalk area. And you're not going to get off there, guys. You're going to stay on for a little bit more. Continue on to Epcot. So you got a couple opportunities to get on and get off here. I guess if you change your mind, a lot of people might change their mind and say, you know what, I better get off here. But we're going to stay on and we're going to follow it on through. And this is where Mama and Marley are. They're right in there. It's a big old Pete right there. You can't see in that card. It's a little dark, so we're going to keep looking forward. All right. Yeah, this one travels like super duper slow, guys. So when you're going through, it's going to go mega slow. Want to take over filming, bud? Sure. All right, Morgan's going to take over there, guys. I'm going to relocate to the other side for you so you guys don't think I'm an imaginary being here. We're going to keep making our way around it, and we're going to do various shorts as we're going through, and we'll also shoot a little bit of video. I'm trying to get a little bit of R&R &R today with the family, so that's what we're doing. And you got the uh, Encanto over there, you've got the Winnie the Pooh over there, and you got the Finding Nemo over there. Now, if you guys get the opportunity to check out our Facebook page, I believe we got some photos posted from years back with Morgan with uh, Carlos Vives there. So we got a friend of the family, so it's kind of cool that he's taken the opportunity to uh, do some photo shoots there with us the one day we were down there. And that was down Welcome in Miami. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliners at Disney's Riviera Resort. Or was that if one in Boston? That was in Boston. I take that back. We're in Boston on that one. So we've taken Ladies off from the whole Riviera Resort, we guys. And behind me, you're going to see the whole boardwalk coming up. You got the, you got the swan, you got the dolphin, you got the swan reserve. Over yonder, you've got Hollywood Studios. Way over, you've got the Art of Animation. You've got Pop Century. And then looking back here, you've got the Caribbean Beach and the Riviera Resort. Over to the right there, right in front of us and over to the right, you do have Epcot. So this is where our destination is going to be. you got the Guardians of the Galaxy over there to the right, the big blue building. Incredible roller coaster. Get on that. If you guys aren't sure what to expect, check out our website or check out our YouTube station. Type in Country Bear Tours or Mark Disney now is our new name. Type in Guardians of the Galaxy Ride and it's going to show you all of our Guardians of the Galaxy Rides. I got some nice ones posted, but it's an incredible roller coaster. It's like a 360 roller coaster as you're going around. Next to it, you've got the Spaceship Earth, and this is the World Showcase in the back. So Epcot is actually set off into a couple of different sections. On the left-hand side, that's where you guys are going to go and see the living seas, the land. Uh, you're going to the Finding Nemo ride over there. In the back, you've got the World Showcase. And then on the other side, over to the right, you're going to have the Guardians of the Galaxy. You're going to have the uh, GM Test Track ride over there. And in the middle, in the front center, right underneath the ball coming back, that's where you're going to see the whole new Moana section. Got a lot of parking lot down here. It looks like they're doing a lot of construction. But over here, you can see the tops of the rooftops. Now, that's the uh, Boardwalk Resort. Now, the Boardwalk is not just the Boardwalk, if you guys aren't familiar with it. You got the Boardwalk Inn. You got the Boardwalk Resort. It's set into, I believe, three different resorts, multiple pools, guys. Any resort you go to and you're, from, you're not familiar with the pools, check out the directory, ask about it. When we arrive, 
In the distance, you've got the dolphin there, which is the fish on top. You've got the swan. They're kind of self-explainable. And in the middle of both of them resort hotels, or the Disney Resort hotels, if you see the black squares in the middle, guys, the monorail was actually supposed to go right on through those resorts. It's kind of cool, which obviously explains the black windows right there. Hopefully someday they do that, or maybe even somehow put a Skyliner going down in there. No. Awesome, awesome. And over to the side of that, you've got the uh, Swan Reserve, and in the distance behind it, that's going to be your uh, Grand Destino Tower. Now, the Grand Destino Tower, not really a fan, once again. It's like the uh, Riviera Resort, not a fan. I know a lot of people are. I like the small, the older resorts laid out more. The one or two floors, sometimes three, like this, you know, you get some of the resorts, like the Saratoga and stuff like that, they're a little taller. I like the ones that are sitting towards the ground. And you've got, that one is a hotel, the Riviera is a hotel, but up on top, they got the nice restaurants and bars. So if you guys want to check them out. Otherwise, when you're over there, my favorite resort, the Coronado Springs Resort, right next to it. The original, love that place. Wish they'd do more for it. Even put Coco out there or something. Something to make it come to life, because that it's a shame that that doesn't have more popularity. I love that resort, and it seems like the new tower took away from that, but yet the tower is using all the stores and the restaurants off the Coronado Springs, so keep them apart. Bye, Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, this is our turn, so we're going to go around and we're going to head on over to now the final resting place for us is going to be over at Epcot. And if you guys are checking out, look at the parking lots again. There's nobody really in the parking lot. We actually came over today because we wanted to get on the uh, balloon. We had a reservation from Morgan on that, so we got over there. But I was surprised when we came back, and it seemed like last night was busier today, and it's empty. Maybe because people are going home, maybe because of work and stuff coming up this week. I'm not sure, but it's a lot of empty space out in a lot of these resorts. And bear with us. We're going to go from here. We're going to jump on some kind of transportation to get us over to the Polynesian. And we're going to do the monorail loop today. So hopefully we're going to get over there. We're going to post it for you guys so you get to see what's going on over there. All right. And like I said, we're revamping the channel a little bit. So we are the Country Bear Tours, but we recently just changed our name over to Mark Disney with a Z, only because of trying to disassociate herself with the tourism industry. And we're just YouTube channel, obviously, but they said that they believe that a lot of people believe we uh, work for some kind of travel company. So we're trying something a little bit different. Maybe it'll help us grow. So I do like the Country Bear Tour name, though. Put it down in the comments, guys. What do you think? What's our name? What do you think we should be otherwise we're using mark disney right now i feel a little wrong doing that but that's eh, something new we're giving a shot one thing i've learned in disney over the last 20 years is you have to evolve you have to start just putting away the the stuff that you know the negativity and you just got to start looking at all the change and kind of embrace you know most of it and the stuff that you don't like just try to steer clear of it but like the skyliner i didn't like it when the concept came out i love them now you know, recommend them to everybody. Plus, it's beautiful video. And look what you guys see driving around. Right now, you got the Epcot Ball, Eiffel Tower, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm thinking Morocco right there. If you are planning to visit World Showcase today, you got the hot air balloon Disney over yonder, Disney Resort, Springs. And, and if we say anything wrong, guys, bear with us. We're on the fly trying to narrate everything we're seeing, but we're seeing so many different things looking at you. You kind of got to go in one of the directions what you're talking about, so. A little tongue tied every now and then. It's kind of slow today, too, you know. Between last night and today, we haven't really ran into any other YouTubers, which is pretty interesting. But right now, you guys, we got Ratatouille's. Uh, the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure Ride, right over here, you see the double stacks up there, the chimney, that's, there's the sign down below. Incredible uh, ride if you guys get the opportunity to ride it. Do it during the parades, guys, or towards the end of the night, uh, or the fireworks. That's the best time to get over there. I see the side is uh, pretty packed out. Maybe Morgan can get you a better look down here. That's an incredible ride, guys. Get on that. Now, if you guys get a look over here, World Showcase. That is World Showcase, where you guys are going to come for the fireworks at night. You got a whole bunch of vantage points all the way around. Incredible experience. Check it out, guys. Here's where we're coming to say goodbye, guys. This is the end of it. We're going to disembark like a whole bunch of seals right now. 
And this is it. So that's the complete monorail or the uh, Skyline ride, guys. Right now we're actually heading over to get on the monorail.